Brexit is here to stay. UK passed bill for Theresa May to trigger Brexit. Local NHS in meltdown with thousands facing four-hour wait to be seen at A&E. The chump lost again by his court. Is the US in meltdown or is it a storm before the calm? Should we or should we not watch Roots? This week saw both the debut of the BBC4 of a star-studded miniseries. But is there a black clash? There was a white clash, but is there a black clash against it by the black community? Overseas Jamaicans still reeling under the increase of young girls being raped and killed. Why? Joining us today, we have Lavina Shannon and Angela Clark, where we're going to look at some of the top news of the week. And ladies, how are you today? Good. Yeah. Listen, normally I go to the House of Commons and stand up outside there, but it's mm. cold and freezing. Very cold. Very cold. Yeah. And I'm sure the Speaker of the House wouldn't mind less noise outside so he can sleep well <laughs> until Trump comes. <laughs> yeah. Now, listen, um, I always keep this topic in the forefront of our mind, and th th this is Brexit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. What's your thoughts on Brexit? I always ask new persons their thoughts on Brexit. That's interesting. Yes. Is it interesting? Tell us what we're It's interesting for a lot of people because there's still a lot of people who don't actually mm. know um, what Brexit means. Yes. Um, certainly not for them as individuals and mm. not for the country on a whole. Um, I don't even think that there's enough information about right. the, the actual implications. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think that even now, um, at this late stage, it's being highlighted how even the people who voted for it just did not mm. have a clue mm. as to what they were voting for. Mm. But as you know, Novina, uh, Brexit is here to stay now. And yeah. Yeah. The, the House has voted mm -hmm. with blood, sweat and tears, not physical. Mm. Some calling people <laughs> names. I mean, this, this parodying comments with Diana Bott and, um, and all those things. But it's here to stay. What's your take on that? Theresa May has got all the right to trigger Brexit. She has. Um, I very openly say I wanted to remain. So mm. the people have spoken, what can you do? That's how I so see it. So you accept it? I don't, I, it's, it? Whether we accept it or not, as you say, it's mm. here to stay. Yeah. So what we now have to do is, is look at what that effect is going to be. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it, it's interesting that when we had an earlier conversation, um, you talked, Lavina, Lavina about um, us educating ourselves. And mm. I think we, that's what we need to do. We need to we need to now educate mm. ourselves as to what does that mean, not just for the country, but for us yeah. as individuals, because That's there right. is a perception that it means that we can't travel anywhere yes. and it's freely yes, anymore. Yes, yes. And, and that may be the case. Mm. Um, but also this whole immigration mm -hmm. thing that, that it's kicked off. Um, yeah, we need, to, we need to look at that too, because as I say, because Brexit means different things to different people. Yeah. And also for some people who are maybe Brexiters, they will say, hang on a second, guys, we have not left the EU, we are still in the European, we are still in mm. Europe, well, not left Europe, we have left the organisation, the European Union, mm. because we don't want some dictators to tell us what to do after we vote these guys into Parliament here. Mm. And some will say, from the white, far, far right, will say, well, we don't want to get any more people in this country. So as you rightly say, Everybody has a different perspective for what is Brexit. Certainly. But what do you think about this thing about uncharted territories bring uncharted opportunities? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, there are opportunities in every situation. Mm. Mm. Um, I, you know, we knew, obviously being within the European Union, we know what opportunities there are. And I, yeah. But I don't, and, and again, I don't think people clearly understood the extent of opportunities that they were actually mm. being in the European Union. Yes. And I'm not saying one way or another whether I say it's a good thing or a bad thing, mm. but what I say is um, with the unknown, um, it could extend. I mean, mm. it, could, it could open up other opportunities, yes. other possibilities. Yeah. It depends on, it, I, I suppose it depends on how it's affected and yes. it depends on our understanding so that we can mm. actually make best best use of it. And if we tap into like the Labour Party, there's, a, there's murder on the dance floor, mm. well not literally because they're all fighting each other. Um, there's people who have rebelled yes, against um, Jeremy Corbyn. Do you think this is an undermining consistently of Jeremy Corbyn or you think people are really saying they don't want Brexit 
That's why some are leaving, like Clive Lewis, Diane Abbott actually did not vote one time because she had a Brexit flu. Uh, well, that's what they said. I think, you know, you know, I think what, what you it's almost as if what there is now is more transparency. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, people are now kind of speaking up and yeah. saying, I don't want this. I don't agree with this. I mean, even when we had the elections, people were very clear that they didn't want um, Jeremy Corbyn in there. Yeah. Mm. Um, very, very clear about the fact that they didn't have um, confidence in him. Mm. Um, what they, what substance there was for for that kind of thing? I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know what what that was about. Um, and individuals will have their own. That's why you have a. That's how why you have an election yeah. so that people can um, put their thoughts across. Yeah. For me personally, the fact that people are resigning and saying you, you can't, in a, in a sense, he's they're now forcing them mm. to go against what they've initially said they didn't want to do, mm -hmm. and they are also representing their areas. Their constituents. Right. So if I voted you in as my MP, yes. and I've come to you with my concerns, mm -hmm. and now you're going to turn around that vote now and go mm -hmm. and vote for Brexit, mm -hmm. you've kind of undermined that trust. Mm -hmm. So I really agree with them actually taking a stand. It's supposed to be democracy. Mm -hmm. Take your stand. If you're not happy, resign, mm -hmm. or actually vocalise it. So I'm really mm -hmm. proud of them that actually we are showing... Take that stand. Actually taking a stand, standing yeah. for something. Could because you're, because you're right, if 90% of our constituents, maybe like Dan Abbott or so, voted, um, or Clive Lewis, voted to remain, to remain mm. and then the, the leader saying, tree line whip, you guys have to vote to leave, mm. then they say, hang on a second, now, where do my beauty lies? Mm -hmm. I mean, my right. constituents mm. actually made it very clear. Where do I, you know? So this is a conversation which will be continuing for the next two, yeah. three, four years, yeah. ten years, Definitely. Brexit, you know? Now, something interesting, I'd like to drop this one in about local NHS in meltdown with thousands facing four hour wait to be seen at A&E. Yeah. I mean, is it that the penny has finally dropped, which has been, I've been mean, dropped a long time, but nobody was looking. I, you know, it's, it's, I was going to say it's, it was an accident waiting to happen. It mm. doesn't, maybe that's not the right kind of coin of phrase, yeah. but. The reality is that um, if you're going to continuously cut a service that you know is it, where the demand is increasing, mm. then mm -hmm. that's what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Yeah. You know, um, the social care sector, we know, has mm -hmm. been heavily cut. Yes. Um, so, you know, you have people who are, are sitting in hospital costing actually more money when mm -hmm. they, should, they don't need to be there, yes. but there aren't the resources available mm -hmm. to, to support them, so they have to be there. Now, someone somewhere has to kind of say, well, at what point then, and to, you know, until we start having fatalities from mm. people sitting um, in corridors of hospitals, mm. yeah. you know, because that's probably what it's got to take before, mm. you know, um, someone on high says, you know, enough is enough, we need to get some money into this service. Jeremy Hunt actually agreed now, actually come out now and mm. accepting what is the reality. Mm. It's taken, yeah. It's taken a lot. It's taken a long time. Mm. But mm. I think we also have to take some ownership ourselves yeah. because a lot of us do use NHS, and um, because it is free for us, we do take advantage of it as well. Did you see that uh, camera in the face of the visitor from overseas saying you need to pay eight hundred pounds per night? No. Um, because what they're talking about is cutting back on hospital people coming over to mm. use the NHS system as well because they're not recouping all that money. Well it was interesting I saw um, I think it was this week um, mm. um, where you, or it may even have been last year where you had the the woman who came over um, and had a quadruplets over here okay um, and the cost to us I think was something like 500,000. Oh wow mm. oh wow well there it goes so therefore that is an area which also leads and it's going to continue well, maybe some of the money from Brexit will come there because they say 250 million per day or per week. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> that's, so, but, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah, but, and it and it sounds a lot, but when you actually mm. look at what it what it does, yeah, um, mm. it, it, it's not as it's it's not as you know as much right. as it's moving seems. on swiftly. Trump. Yes. What does that? What does it? What, what what when I say that word or that name? What does it conjure up in you, Shannon? What does it conjure up in you? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> initially, initially it Maybe that's was, what most Americans will say. There's nothing there. Nothing. Initially, it was disbelief, a little bit of kind of humour. I kind yeah. of thought he was silly, but he showed us who he was from the very beginning. Yes. So he doesn't surprise me anymore. Okay. He showed us who he was. He's doing what he said he was going to do. So he's one of the most honest politicians around. Oh, 
honest in his dishonesty and his <laughs> slyness, but he told us he was going to do the things he's doing. So when people are acting really surprised and shocked mm. now, especially the ones who have voted him in, this man told you his tendencies. Mm. He's not, it's not about immigration, it's about race. Because mm. his family are immigrants. It's mm. about race. Mm. He told you very clearly he is racist and he is sexist. Mm. What more can this man tell you? Why would I? He doesn't shock me, he's mm. told me. He's also, he's also a businessman, mm -hmm. and he's also a very successful businessman, and I think what he's doing is bringing his business know-how mm -hmm. into the government. That's mm -hmm. what he's done, mm -hmm. um, and that's what he's doing, and he's, I, I think he's treating the government like he is his businesses. And well, he, he lost, the, 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 again, by the court, and uh, what he's saying is going to try to retweak yeah, he that, says that, he's, not that, going that to, he's not going to appeal it, yeah. but what he's going to do is, because that's what a businessman does. Yeah. You it, put a proposal forward and it gets rejected, we, you try and turn it in around. In Jamaica, they right? say, wheel and come again. There you go. And he says he's going to make it bulletproof. There you go. That is when you seal a contract to a certain way. There you go. <laughs> but do you think then that maybe that's what America needs at this time? Someone who is forceful, someone who is determined, maybe. Remember, more than, okay, the popular votes he lost, but at least at the same time, we're talking about 62 million people mm. voted for him. I mean, mm. 62, yeah, 62 million yeah. people voted for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 62 yeah, million people voted for him. He came from the perspective that he is um, about protecting America. He is interest. about protecting mm. the security of America. That's to build a big wall, of course. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and, that's, and, mm. and, and, and so and a lot of people align themselves with that. They want America to be safe. Yes. And he capitalised on people's fear yeah. and on mm. the very inbred um, patriotism slash racism of America. So if one were to compare Trump with Obama, one capitalised on fear and one capitalised on hope and dream? Yeah, you could say that. To All some the city degree. of hope? To some degree, yeah. Mm. Well, two clear different leaders? Style. Without a doubt. Two different styles. Different leadership styles. styles. And uh -huh. Totally different leadership styles. But they're leaders then? I wouldn't say Trump's a leader. <laughs> to me, a leader <laughs> is able to be reflective, can take yeah. criticism, mm. can actually work with those around them to also build mm. them and lift them. Yeah. He has shown that if you disagree with him, you will get Yeah, make sure you do not tweet against his daughter because that is a direct <laughs> attack on the president. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 you know, and remember, you know, there is a clear, there's a clear distinction between a leader and a manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can have a business manager, but that doesn't make them a leader. That's mm. right. Now, another thing which I wanted to touch on, and, and this is my second to last one, is should we or should we not watch Roots? This week saw both the debut on BBC4 of a star-studded miniseries based on Alex Haley Roots and the 25th anniversary of Haley's death on 10th of February 1992. It's creating a sort of wave in the UK now, but Black History Month in the USA, but it's coming over here now. A lot mm. of people are saying they can't watch it. Oh, I don't know. Why are they putting these shows that are not positive? Why don't they show before mm. slavery? You know? yeah. What's your view on that? I mean, it's a part of our history. You know, the, the, you know? I personally didn't watch it. I'll tell you that. Mm. I didn't watch it. Mm. Did I make a conscious decision not to watch it? No, I, I, mm. I, I didn't. I just didn't watch it. Why? Um, I remember watching the original Roots. I remember mm. um, even way back then the the discontent that it mm. caused, um, the negativity that it caused. Um, negativity where, or in your system, or around the community, or so? Um, environmentally, around mm. um, in schools, it, it, you know, people started to behave differently think differently, act differently. Mm. I'm not saying that that was a, a bad thing, mm. um, because obviously there was an awareness of um, the, the kind of history of black people yes, um, yes. that wasn't there before. Um, but there was an outcry then. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure that there, were, there is such an outcry now. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't heard it. Novina, did you watch it? I didn't, and I made a conscious effort not to watch it. Did you watch the first one? I've watched the first mm -hmm. one, yeah. I've grown up with a mum who's very much into history yeah. and mm -hmm. so definitely, and it's because of my awareness of, again, you said the psychological yeah. effects yeah. and the physiological effects of watching it. It's open up wounds and reintroducing you to yeah. trauma. And 
I do think it's very timely that it has come now. Yes, it is in mm. his anniversary, but we've mm. got hidden figures. We've got quite mm. a few things. The butler, mm. we've had quite uplifting and that, that things. other one there, there's a positive one which is out there. It's true. Yeah. There's another black show which is going on. Um, I forget the name, but it's a very positive one. Uh -huh. um, yeah. But, but, but listening to what you said, you mentioned it open wounds mm -hmm. and uh, conjures up these emotions or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. We spoke briefly earlier. Mm -hmm. Isn't that saying that there's a traumatic thing that needs like some counselling? Definitely. Whenever somebody, if you look at, whenever there's an event in the world, look at the 9-11, yeah. they offered counselling and mm. therapy. We were never offered counselling therapy as a people after hundreds of years and still ongoing now of racism, of enslavement, of having our yeah. rights taken away. We need mm. to be at heal. And a lot of us don't know how to heal yeah. and yeah. Truth and Reconciliation Commission? Have that been done? Have anything of that also been done? Slavery? No. Reparation, all those sort of things. Push. A lot of yeah. talk, a lot of talk about it. And marches. Yeah. And marches. One day marches. But my thinking is what I said to a few persons the other day is that you watch the first one. You watch the first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Do you think we are depriving the younger ones of it? Uh, to me, I think they do need to understand mm. what it is, yes. but I think it's different between explaining, talking about it and giving it in a safe for format yes. than doing it that way. So where they're going to be, what you see, you absorb, it comes back to your subconscious yes. and unconscious, that figure of them being chained and everything else, yes. it's not healthy. Okay. Well, this conversation is going to go on continually. And just one more thing, in Jamaica, we, mm. we spoke about that earlier but the trauma regarding the abduction of the girls and the, yeah. the killing, yeah. that's really a traumatic thing as well. Mm. I mean, as Jamaicans of Jamaican heritage, what's your quick views on that one before we wrap up? My view is that something does need to be done. Mm. If it isn't already being done, it needs to be done. There are lots of, pe mm. there are lots of agencies out there, there are lots of churches, there are yes. lots of people that can get together and provide um, safe networks for people mm. to go to. Yes. And, e and even if it's a case that they're, you know, that they're not qualified in the way that um, myself and Naveen are, yes. it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that they cannot provide pastoral care and yes. support for people. Right. Final word, mm. Sarah? I'd just say wrap them in love. Let them know mm. they're not at fault and that just give them support. Don't mm. question whether they, just, just wrap them in love. Mm. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for interview for this week. See you next time.